Hi, so this will be a quick video on the new multi excerpt enhanced permissions uh, macro. What this lets you do is share content even from pages that are restricted at the page level or at the space level and share content outside those pages with specific users or users that belong to a particular groups. So let's have a quick look. So we actually have two pages here, A and B, and we're going to add a multi xer enhanced permissions to A, and then in B we're going to have a multi xer include. So let's just have a quick look here. Uh, we'll choose the multi xer enhanced permissions. I'm just going to name this test, and for now we're going to add our user Charlie, who can see content in within this macro, even though the page is actually restricted, and the restriction is that only admin can see it which is the current user. So let's go ahead and just add some text. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop in some, uh, some attachments here. There we are. I'm going to spread these out so they're on different lines. All right, save the page. So we have our three attachments here. It's with a screenshot and a couple documents. Now let's move over to B. And we're going to go ahead and just add our standard multi excerpt include and our page is A and it is test so we're going to save that and here's the content so because the content is restricted on A normally nobody uh, nobody could see the B page but we're going to go over here and let me whoops pop another incognito browser here and we're going to jump right to B. We're going to log in with our other user who does not have access to see this. Uh, but since we added him, he can see it. Now I'm going to jump back to the other page and take off that. I'm going to take off his ability to see it in the macro. So if we remove him, save the page. And then when we jump back over and do a refresh, he can't see anything. So that's how you do it. That's how you can expose information outside. Let's go ahead and add him back. But this time we'll do it a different way. We'll say we know that he's in the group Confluence users. And if you're restricting permissions, typically you wouldn't want to add everybody in Confluence users. But we'll go ahead and do that for demonstration purposes here. This also works across spaces. So now he can see the content again. Um, now the macro that actually renders documents in place doesn't, uh, as of yet, do the same thing with this particular uh, macro, and it's because of the way we have to circumnavigate permissions. But if you click on these links to the documents, it will still you'll still have access to the documents themselves. The other quick thing to note is if this feature, uh, this feature is not necessarily enabled by default. I might change that with new downloads, but uh, you may have to enable this. So basically, if you go to add ons and scroll down to multi excerpt, and go ahead and expand it, and then click on the modules so that you can see all the modules that are enabled and disabled. So in some cases you might not want your users to have access to this feature in which case you'll disable it but if you do want access to this feature then you can go ahead and enable it. So there you have it. Thanks for listening. Hope you find this feature useful.